In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the basics of registering an atlas to the subject. So what you need for this is a dig points text file. Uh, the format of this is described in another tutorial, or you could download the example of dig points text file. Uh, you also need probe geometry, the SD structure, either in a probe.sd file or uh, contained in a .mirs file. Let me just first load this probe.sd uh, uh, so you can see uh, its structure is, the structure is described also in the Homer documentation. You know, so that what you need is uh, the basics, the lambda, source position, detector position, and measurement list. You can ignore this other stuff for the most part. Uh, the measurement list is what's going to define what source detector pairs are creating uh, measurements. Uh, and you'll see this in the atmosphere. Now that we have these two basic files, we can run Atlas Viewer. Atlas Viewer launches. You see that it, it generates um, some directories. It takes a few seconds to launch. So it generates the forward uh, and viewer directories. It automatically loads the digitized points. You can see these are digitized points. We can show sources and detectors, so the blue are detectors, the red are sources. We also have uh, ref points, um, which I'm not able to show, but we've digitized CZ, uh, the Indian, the Amazing, the two ears. So we can come up to here to tools and say register atlas to dig points. So this will take a few seconds. It's performing the transformation right now um, between the atlas and the subject. It's, it's transforming all the head surfaces as well as the head volume. Thing that takes time is, is transforming the head volume. This transformation of the head volume is what's used actually for uh, the Monte Carlo forward problems. So the transformation is almost done. When it's done, we'll just see the atlas transform to the space uh, on the subject defined by the digitized points. Our subject. Let's rotate around. we we'll see the probe here. Uh, unhide the measurement list, and now you can see the source detector pairs that we defined in that SD structure. Uh, so Atlas Viewer automatically found the S this SD file here and loaded uh, that SD structure so we could know what this measurement list is. This completes this tutorial.